There's always laughing going on between the two of them. He saved his brother's life, and the bond that they have between them is priceless. Keegan's been healthy for eight years now after the transplant, and uh, has never been back in the hospital since then. He was a normal two-year-old active, and he woke up with one morning with a bruise about the size of an apple on his rib cage. And I called our doctor and asked if I can bring him in. This lady tapped me on his shoulder and said, is that your son? His blood coming off of his mouth. So I went over to wipe the blood off of him and his mouth to start gushing blood. And 20 minutes later, they sat me down and said, your son has leukemia. As a mom, it's probably the worst feeling you can ever experience in your life. When we found out we were pregnant with Keldon, I mean, my husband at the time decided to save the umbilical cord blood. Keegan was in great shape, went through all his chemo, came out healthy. So I never thought in my wildest dreams we would need it. Day Calm was born. I'm the blonde one. <laughs> well, we you hope you're the blonde one. He relapsed with leukemia. And the day after Thanksgiving, we found out when he was five and a half. And that turned your odds into a 50% chance of survival. They decided they wanted to go with a um, transplant. And two weeks into it, they came back and said that Keldon was the perfect little match. And so, of course, mom was ecstatic. That was the first thing out of my mouth. We had the umbilical cord blood. We saved it. We saved it. And on March 9th, he received his brother's umbilical cord blood. I've been healthy ever since I was five and a half. Because of the transplant I got from my little brother and his cord blood, it's basically my little brother saved my life. If the story gets out that Keegan and Keldon, how they saved each other's lives, if it touches one other family and helps them, and then they're both heroes. Cord blood saved our lives, saved my son's life, shown me what life is all about.